Today's science behind the weather, first of 2014, first in a long time. We're going to talk about a rare event that happened in Toronto. If you look at Twitter, it's all over Twitter. Frostquake is here. Anybody else hear what happened in Toronto? Multiple times during the night, people heard loud bangs. That's Criminal Minds fan. And then another tweet real quickly. Eric Bachman, Frostquake in Toronto. Loud boom heard by residents overnight. A series of frostquakes in Toronto. Well, when we have temperatures like these, about minus 15 on one day, and then another day moving up to minus 3, uh, that can do a lot to our surface. And, and by that, I mean many things like soil, uh, rocks at the surface. So right even in an urban area like Toronto, we can have something called a frostquake. Let's go to this next graphic. Is it an earthquake or a frostquake? Not to be confused with an earthquake. This is actually called a cryoseismic. And a cryoseismic, what's important to know about that is it's non-tectonic. So we don't have tectonic plates like we have in an earthquake that are shifting together or pushing together or uh, pulling apart where we actually have fault lines in an earthquake. With this, this is all to do with temperatures and like the ice storm that they saw late in 2013, uh, we have expansion and contraction of water at the surface. So that could be water through the rocks below the surface and those rocks start to expand. The ice expands, the rocks move and then boom, you have this loud noise. And with cold temperatures, uh, these loud booms can travel very far. So lots of people heard all these scary noises right in downtown Toronto.